hey family i hope you all are doing great thank you for clicking my video in today's video this wig show and tell is brought to you by rpg show i will be sure to leave the link below to this wig and their social media links below in the description box when you order, this is how your wig will come in the mail. Your wig comes really neatly packaged. They also send some goodies in the box as well. Let's see what we got. I got a RPG Show Edge Band, a My First Wig Flyaway Tamer, and I love this stuff. I love using their Flyaway Tamer, really lightweight on the flyaways. There are two wig caps, that's a beige color. They also send you a thank you card and on the thank you card to show where you can find them on social media and they also send a slip with your order information on it so all the information to the hair that i have i will be sure to list it below in the description box and they even got a magazine come through rpg show and i see a lot of hair influencers from youtube in here that's dope There's also this storage bag for your wig. Here is a close-up of the inside cap construction. It comes with a 13 by 6 lace frontal parting space. Behind the frontal parting space, you get two combs with another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted a adjustable elastic band that come with three hook setting. As for the lace, the lace feels like soft lace and it looks like it's HD as well. The hair texture on this wig is on the silky side and the hair comes pre-colored. This is how the wig comes straight out of the package. The hair comes pre-curled, but the wig got smushed in the packaging, so I'm definitely gonna have to go in and touch up the curls. The wig don't come with no foul odor, and I can't wait to install this. It looks like a professional color, this wig. And I love how the wig come with face framing highlights. The hairline comes pre-plucked, and the knots come bleached. I'm going to start in the nape area and then work my way up. So first I section off a few rows in the back and I pin it up. And I'm gonna go in with Paul Mitchell Fresh Off The Press. This is a heat protectant spray. I spray this on each row that I do before I go in with the curling iron. I am not the most neatest curler in the world, but after I go in and curl my hair, I would like to go in with this heatless curler just to help set the curls overnight. So it don't really matter the direction that the curls go in because once it's wrapped around the heatless curler, it's going to change the shape and direction of the curl. When I start to style the frontal area with the six inch parting space, I like to go in and do thin sections so the crown area could be nice and flat. First, I go in with the spray, then I'm gonna go in with my first wig flyaway tamer and press down those flyaways. And then I take my Andis hot comb, I press down the roots of the hair just to help melt the product into the hair. And then I'm gonna go in with the curling iron and then curl the hair.
The curls came out really nice with the curling iron alone, but like I said, I want the curls to hold overnight, so I'm gonna go in with the heatless curler. As for the parting space, it's looking nice and deep. They did miss a spot right there with the knots, but it's okay, I'm still going to make it work. After I wrap the hair in the heatless curler to cut off the extra lace in the front, I go in with eyebrow razors. I start in the middle and then I cut one side off at a time. And I'm just taking the eyebrow razors and just cutting right along the hairline slowly, taking my time. Be sure to take your time, beautiful, because you do not want to cut into the hairline and mess up the shape of the hairline. Hey beautiful, so it's now it's time. Calm down, Kara, calm down. Hey beautiful, now it's time for the wig install. And on this wig install, I used my curl stick. This mannequin actually just fell when I got it, so the curls is a little messed up on the curl stick now, but I'm about to take out the curl stick anyway. So this is my first time trying my heatless curler on a short wig so i hope the curls come out really popping and underneath the wig i'm gonna go in with a brown stocking cap let me fix my cap i got my braids really small the smaller the better it helps your wig lay really nice and flat i'm just gonna take out the heatless curler now okay Let's see what's going on. So to get the lace to match my skin a little better, I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Fit Me Pad in the shade 360 underneath the lace. But I'm only going to apply to the spots that I'll be showing. So that's the parting space and the hairline of the wig. All right, so after I applied my makeup powder underneath the lace, the wig is pretty small on my head. I'm really wondering if this is a medium sized cap or a small. But I'm gonna leave the hooks right here so it's not too tight on my head. And as for the hooks that they inserted, the adjustable elastic band, I'm gonna use the third hook in the front. All right, so this is how the hairline is laying on my forehead. So to install this wig, I love how the lace just looks on my skin, just sitting on my skin, but it's looking like I might have to go in with some spray to keep it down. Or maybe I could take the spray and spray it up to their temples because I just love how lace looks sitting on my skin compared to when I put like a lot of product on my forehead. And then sometimes you can see the product through the lace and it's all shiny. So I'm about to figure something out. The spray I'm gonna use to hold on my wig hairline is the Wig Dealer Melting Spray.
I'm trying to keep this install very simple with most of RPG show doing all of the work. So what I mean by that, they already plucked the hairline, they already colored it. I don't wanna go in and make it too complicated by adding baby hairs. And I like how the hairline looked without the baby hairs. Not bad, not bad. So now let's move on to the curl action. Hmm. bada boom bada bang and i am done yes rpg show you guys did mostly all the work all i had to do was touch up the curls because it was looking a little flat and add some powder to the parting space so it can pop a little bit more like scalp and this is it it looked like a professional did this wig which i do believe a professional did do this wig I really love how nice this wig look without the dramatic baby hairs and the fact that the hairline comes pre-plucked make it even more better and helps the wig look realistic. I'm not gonna lie, it's nothing about this wig that is screaming it's a wig. It's giving like real hair press out plus highlighted with some curls added like you can't tell me this isn't my hair down to the hair density the hair density looks really natural the cut came out natural like this is a really flawless wig and even after i did this install i wore this wig for about a week and a half it held up great the curls lasted for a while i did have to touch up the curls in the front to frame my face but it held up the few times that I even wore this wig, I got a few compliments and I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> thank you. I want to tell them so bad it's a wig, but I'm like, let me just shut up because they said I like your hair, your hair. Okay. I love when I split the hair in the back. My tracks isn't showing and you can't see my wig cap. So far with the update that I could give within the week and a half from wearing this, I would say it's a low maintenance wig. Shedding was on the low side and I got zero tangling the whole time I had it. I love it. The parting space is nice and deep and I honestly recommend. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.